Am I the only one that's wondering how much it cost Miss Piggy to put that giant ad of piggy water on the godforsaken water tower? <laughs> guys, this is Animat, and welcome back to the Muppet Vlog. Now this time we're going to be looking into the ninth episode of the new Muppet series, which is Going, Going, Gonzo. And this one is an extraordinary episode, I I'm going to tell you that right now. So basically what's going on in there is that after a crazy incident that occurred during Up Late with Miss Piggy, Gonzo decided that he wants to relive his old dream of becoming a daredevil. So basically, he's going back to his roots, to how he was during the Muppet Show. And everybody seems to be so encouraged and so inspired by this, because basically, he's re like he's trying to reach his dream. He's trying to reach his goals and stuff like that, and that's definitely admirable. But there is one little catch, and he's just unsure if this is actually safe, you know? So, th that's basically the one major obstacle that's, like, pretty much pushing Gonzo back if he actually wants to do this crazy stunt. Well, like, you know, well, it's, the stunt itself is, it's nothing too, too extraordinary in terms of Gonzo levels. It's pretty much just trying to shoot himself out of a cannon on top of a building, you know? So, it's just simple. It's simple as that for, like, Gonzo levels. Uh, while that is happening at the same time, Scooter pretty much decided that he's reconsidering his life choices after he witnessed what happened to Gonzo, and he decided now he wants to relive on the edge. And with that, uh, he decided the first step that he'll take is actually go and hang out with the Electric Mayhem. And for that, he wants to get- uh, he, well, it's not that he wants to get, it's actually Janice that suggested first, is to get his ear pierced. And at that point, I'll just say comedic antics ensues. Now, the first thing that I want to say about this episode is that I could not love this episode anymore. And I think the biggest reason is because as a Muppet fan, it is so exciting to see Gonzo going back to his roots being the crazy daredevil. I mean, when you watch the original Muppet Show series, that's basically one of the big reasons why Gonzo is such a prominent figure with the Muppets is because he has these zany, over-the-top ideas of what he wants to do with his stunts. It's, you know, it's not only comedic, but it's also, like, really out of the box and pretty creative. So it's a lot of fun to watch. And just seeing him return to that, it's just, it's absolutely exciting. And plus the fact that it does have a bit of the uh, of a small message of like, you know, go live your dream and reach that goal. It's it, that is definitely admirable. Like normally you don't you don't usually get that sense of like it's trying to tell you something with the previous episodes, but like just that small subtle hint of telling you to go and live your dream. You know, it's definitely like I just love it. It's definitely fantastic and there's no truer words. I mean, even I'm trying to go and reach out my dream. Like, everybody was pretty much confessing, like, what they want to do with their dream. W one of my favorite is Bobo. Because, number one, Bobo is awesome. And, number two, like, it's just hilarious. I mean, like, I'll, Im like, I'll even say it right here. My personal dream is to go and be a voice actor at the Disney parks. So, like, you know, like, I, I am taking the small steps to actually be a voice actor. Any, any little extra help would, would be great, by the way. Uh, but anyways, okay, but outside of that, also, uh, cur like, everybody else's involvement is actually pretty great as well. Kermit's involvement in there um, is actually pretty heartwarming, actually, because Kermit here, like, we see a more heartwarming side of Kermit in here because... He is ridiculously supportive with Gonzo and actually make that dream happen. Like trying to, like even trying to convince Miss Piggy to uh, to actually have that appear during Up Late with Miss Piggy. And even Miss Piggy is actually really interesting and really funny to see how she's trying to advertise her new, like pretty much her new water product, which is Piggy Water. And it, apparently, it's like some kind of fat. Like it, it has. 
30 grams per bottle. And like, that, it, it leads up to the best line. It's like, 30 grams? It's just water, though. It's actually, it, it's really hilarious. So, uh, Pigby's involvement is actually really funny. Kermit's involvement is just so sweet and so, like, you can really do see a, a caring side of Kermit where, like, even afterwards, when he notices that Gonzo is unsure of doing this stunt, he's still 100% supportive because, like, his, like, his dream, like, his, not, not his dream, but, like, his goal is pretty much to be there for his buddy, rather it be, like, Fozzie or Gonzo. It's just really amazing. But I will say that with Scooter's side of the story, it is good on its own, but the Gonzo plot really stands out so much that it kind of, honestly, it feels like it overshadows the Scooter plot. Like, I can see a lot of the fun of it, and you do see, like, like you, you it does open up more to, like, interactions with the Electric Mayhem, which is always fantastic. It's always a lot of fun to see like, um, what the Electric Mayhem is doing behind the scenes, but just seeing, like, like, just that little interaction, it really doesn't seem much compared to, uh, the Gonzo side of story. And then we also have the special guest stars. Now, a part of me does feel a little bit mixed about what's going on. Now, we actually do have gr uh, s great special guest stars. We got Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and also we got, uh, David Grawl of the Foo Fighters. And, um, like, their part of it is fantastic, but it, like, my only, like, problem is that it actually, like, their reason to be in there is that it has little to nothing to do with the plot so far. With Joseph Gordon-Levitt, it is cool that we see him sing with Miss Piggy doing a duet of, uh, Fly Me to the Moon, and then afterwards we see that little sketch of, um, of him playing poker, which is, uh, which is definitely hilarious. And then at the end, we also see David Grawl uh, performing one of his, one of the Foo Fighters songs with the Electric Mayhem, and then ending it off with a finale of, of the ultimate drum battle between Dave Grawl and Animal. Which, I will admit, it's cool to watch, and it definitely is awesome to see a drum battle uh, with Animal versus someone else. But, again, it just has little interaction. I feel like... This is maybe David Grohl's wish that he can do a drum battle versus Animal, which I'm not gonna deny. It's cool. Like, it, like I don't, I don't really play the drums, but I, w I would love to do one versus Animal. But um, yeah, over like just overall, it just doesn't make sense. Like, it it has little to do with the plot. So if it if it has like some like if the special guest stars had like a little bit of a connection, like they had some sort of involvement with. Uh, with the plot, rather it be with, uh, Sco with Scooter or with, um, with Gonzo, it would have helped. In fact, I think, like, Dave Grawl's, um, involvement with the Electric Mayhem, it would have probably helped a bit more with the Scooter plot to stand out a bit over, like, the amazingness of Gonzo's plot. Or, like, it, like, just add that extra, like, have Joseph Gordon-Levitt help Gonzo a bit with the plot, that would have been amazing. But I will say that overall, um, I am really happy with how this is so far. Like, maybe there are, like, a few things they would have fixed, but, you know, personally, just as it is, I am really satisfied. I am so happy. Like, in fact, maybe I wouldn't want to see any changes from it. It's just really, it's such a fantastic episode and definitely one of the best of this season. So anyways, that's pretty much it for this week. So we'll see how it goes on the 10th episode. And until then, see you later, dudes.